My name is Jeff Durbin. I'm the co-host of Talk Tech with CTI, and I'm going to show you how to install and use Malwarebytes Anti-Malware. Let's get started. Click on Start to begin. Click on Internet Explorer. Once you get Internet Explorer and load it up, we can go to um, Malwarebytes.org. Once at malwarebytes.org, you can go on down until you see the download link where it says Malwarebytes Anti Malware and it says Download Now. So that, uh, located, the download is located at download.com. Do not click on that, that's not the download. Now you can click on Download Now 2.24 megabytes. If you get this little pop up notice, you can click OK click on the link there and click on download file. Save the file to your desktop so you can find it when you get ready to install it. Once the file is downloaded you can click on close, close out the window so you can see the desktop. Once you can see the desktop you'll see MBAM and then there's a hyphen and setup. That is your uh, Malwarebytes anti-malware um, 1.29 setup file. Double click on it, brings up the open file dialog box which you then click on run. Select your language, click on OK. Welcome to the Malwarebytes anti-malware setup wizard. Click next to continue. Once you've read the license agreement you can um, click on I accept the agreement. Click on next to continue. It's right here some information about the Malwarebytes software. Click on next to continue. This is where it uh, installs it by default. Click on next to begin you. To continue, click next. This is giving you the option to create a desktop icon or a quick launch icon. Click on install. And once it's finished, it'll uh, ask you to launch the software and update it. So click on finish. And we're going to wait until it launches. Now it's doing its updates, so it'll get the newest update so it can clean up your computer with, um, with uh, the most up to date um, information that it has available. Let's go ahead and maximize the window here. I always use a um, quick scan to start with. Um, what it does is the quick scan will use malware by its quick scanning technology to scan your system for the most common types of malware. Um, after that's done, if you still feel like you need to run it again, you can run a, a full scan when you have more time. Um, the quick scan works really well, really fast, so I always use it. Once you select perform quick scan, click on enter and it'll start to scan. Now what you're going to see is uh, it's going to scan through objects. It's already scanned over a thousand objects. Fortunately I don't have any um, spyware, spyware or malware on this system so it's probably not going to find anything. But if it did, um, it would pop up and allow you to remove it. Okay, and if you would like to pause the scan, you can just pause the scan here and that will give you the opportunity to, you know, go check on something else or click on here and go up in there, you know, just do whatever or you can click on abort scan. If you click on abort scan it gives you opportunity to cancel that abort and if you uh, would like to continue just click on no and it'll continue on to where it was at which was in the pause state. Now we can resume scan and it'll go back to scanning. If you click on abort scan and click on yes that will abort the scan. The scan was aborted. No malicious items were detected. Click on main menu. This gives you the log file that um, 
of this particular um, quick scan um, let you know how many processes have been infected and how many uh, processes uh, have been detected. Okay, that is it. Um, we do have some tabs up here I could talk about. The protection tab is only available if you purchase Malwarebytes anti-malware software um, from their website for $24.95. Um, basically what this will do is give you um, real-time protection blocking. This is the update. You can change your um, update mirror. It also gives you the current database information. So the database that you're using currently, um, the one we have was uh, created on 10-21-2008 and it's database version 13.04 and it's got 53,264 fingerprints loaded. Not bad. And this will be the list of the quarantined items. This is the list of the logs that we've ran. Um, if we have a ignore, this is the malware bytes anti malware ignore list. Below um, in this box here is the the list of malware that malware bytes anti malware has been asked to ignore from scans. Here's some settings you can set. I always um, set terminate Internet Explorer during removal. Some more tools I haven't used them yet, so I can't comment on them. And this is the information about malware bytes anti malware. This one's version 1.29. And that's it. If you'd like to see some more videos, um, stop by talktechblog.com.